it's almost like a, a memorial. People are laying flowers. People are lighting candles. So it's just so beautiful. I get chills. Union Square in New York City has played host to many social justice demonstrations. And now is the temporary home to three statues, who some arguably consider modern day icons of the social justice movement. You know, art has worked hand in hand with social justice movements for, for set forever. Six foot tall statues of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor and John Lewis have only been on display for about two weeks and already they've sparked conversations and attracted supporters and detractors. The Floyd statue was vandalized twice since it debuted on Juneteenth of this year, first in Brooklyn, New York, where Floyd's brother Terrence lives, then again two days later after its unveiling in Union Square. But emotions surrounding the statues and what they represent sparked an immediate community response. And before I could even get to the sculpture, people were cleaning it. Here we are having a vandalism moment, which could have been a complete, you know, destruction of our day. But it was more of like a community rally. Following the murder of George Floyd, artist and sculptor Chris Carnabucci felt he needed to use his talents to add to the larger conversation on social justice. While watching news coverage of the tragedy, his wife triggered an idea. And she at one point turned to me and said, you need to do a sculpture for George Floyd. And, and I thought, you know, it makes, it makes sense, not for any commercial reason, but to sort of capture this moment, which was so significant. And, and it Carnabucci created a small model of George Floyd's sculpture and it eventually made its way to Lindsay Eshelman of Confront Art, an organization that focuses on social justice and diversity and gives artists a platform to showcase their work in those areas. At the time, Eshelman was about to meet with George Floyd's brother, Terrence. And so I showed him and he started getting teary and he said, I have never seen my brother's rendering like this. Not only do I trust you with this statue, but I want you to make it as big as you possibly can. From there, Eshelman and Carnabucci connected, and soon after, six-foot-tall statues of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and John Lewis were created. So all of these spaces are different. Uh, different, you know, police brutality, injustice, um, and moving the conversation forward. And we always say, sadly, um, any of them could be interchangeable with a number of other people. We could put Eric Garner in there. We could put Sandra Bland in there. Um, you know, these are just the faces that stick with us as a society, and that's why we, they were used. The statues are a mobile unit. After spending a month in New York, Eshelman and Carnabucci intend to take them on a college tour to help educate and inspire students. Beyond stimulating conversations around social justice, the statue's other purpose is to bring awareness to the foundations of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and John Lewis to continue the legacies of these now iconic faces in the social justice movement. You know, we can't tell you how you're supposed to feel. We, that is not our job. Our job is to create the stage where you can walk past and then start a conversation, disagree with the art, disagree with the society that brought us to this place and have this open dialogue. Reporting for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Kevante Smalls.